Hello viewers, this is Imran Jamil once again. If you're one of those people who are trying to make a career in cybersecurity, but you don't know where to start from, this video is for you. Whether you have prior IT experience or you're fresh out of college, there is a certain path that you must follow in order to break into cybersecurity. I am a professional with many years of experience in cybersecurity. So we deal with candidates day in and day out and the mistakes that they make. That's what led me to make this video. Maybe it'll, it'll help some people pave the way for their future. One of the biggest misunderstandings is that if you've done IT, you're ready for cybersecurity. That is not true. Cybersecurity is a separate entity on its own with two components, cybersecurity compliance and cybersecurity operations. So understanding both of those components is the key for anyone to pursue a career in cybersecurity that each component has at least five tenants that you must consider which path you wanna choose. So for instance, uh, cybersecurity compliance. There are the five tenants of it could be program support at the program level, you're managing cybersecurity projects. But even for that, you need to understand what security is all about. Then you have security uh, and privacy awareness, training. You can be a, a trainer where, you know, you, the new solutions, the new mandates, the new policies. If they are just in documents and being pushed out by emails, people are not going to follow it. So there is, there has to be awareness training with each initiative uh, within cybersecurity and outside for people to understand and relate to it. If people can't relate to it, they're not going to follow it until there is a issue like a breach, God forbid. Then uh, security uh, engineering itself. Security engineering at the uh, pri uh, compliance level is different than security engineering at the ops level. Security engineering in the at the compliance level is security team is involved with IT infrastructure people or the people who are actually uh, implementing the systems to ensure that all the security controls are implemented properly, the systems are secure, the applications are being developed with the secu with security uh, in mind right from the beginning instead of trying to find a uh, uh, ways to secure the application after it's, be, it's already been developed. Sitting in design reviews, helping out with the design of systems and applications, that's where the cybersecurity compliance come into play. Uh, where, you know, uh, the uh, information and enge security engineering will help them put in controls that audit management, risk management, whether you wanna uh, be a, a compliance person who does uh, authority to operate if you uh, uh, work in, uh, in, in the government or you who, who works with the documentation and implementation of all the controls and follows the risk management framework and cybersecurity framework. So that is up to you to decide. That is just compliance. That when you come at the uh, cybersecurity operational level, then you have vulnerability management, you have incident response uh, and detection, you have penetration testing, you have threat management and digital malware, you have infrastructure and application security engineering. So these are all the areas within these two components. We have discussed 10 different possibilities that you can start off your career with. Where do you go? So for instance, just like in regular IT, we have network operation center. In cybersecurity, we have security operation center, but both have to be aligned together in order to have a, a good cybersecurity posture. That's where the possibilities arise. And uh, I, I plan on taking this to uh, some, some, uh, some more videos so that we can talk about each of these components. Just doing certifications or just having prior IT experience is not gonna uh, land you a job in cybersecurity, especially in the US. You have to know the technical aspects, how to secure your systems if you're a Linux engineer. You have to know how to build the, uh, the servers. You, you have to understand 
uh, how to secure those systems, how to patch those systems, how, how to manage access in those systems. If you've done all of that as a Unix administrator, you're in the best uh, scenario to come and fit in, in a cybersecurity uh, compliance engineering role. That, we, that will give you the technical understanding, but will also uh, take you to, to a different path. But in order to do that, you need to pay more attention to understand what the cybersecurity framework is, what the risk management framework is, what are the security controls, what are the guidelines, uh, what is NIST, you know, uh, what, uh, what is uh, NIST publications, you know, all of that stuff. And there's a path to it. It's not all one size fits all where you just, you know, or, or drink it like a me medication and you're done. So I leave it at that at this point, because in the next phase, we are going to talk about the components of cybersecurity. Then we will uh, have plans to build upon what sort of requirements employers are looking for, because I am one. And I kid you not. If I, in the past two, three months, we had to fill one position, I've gone through 120 resumes out of which I chose five or six of them for interview and all six of them didn't land uh, a second interview. That's how bad it is. Not because the people didn't have any skills. They had some great skills. They just did not have the clear vision of what cybersecurity is about and how are they going to be able to help in cybersecurity? Because vulnerabilities and threat management are two different aspects. And most of the people don't even understand how a scan works, how, uh, uh, what, what do you do post scan? Scanning something is, tool is doing that, you're not. So these are some basic rudimentary mistakes that I see people that can work in the regular IT disciplines, but when you come to cybersecurity, you got to dot your I's and cross your T's. You know, it is all about detail. It's all about, remember three words, CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. On the other side, availability always comes first. So there is a difference. But what does that mean? Is cybersecurity compromise, uh, is going to compromise uh, availability? No, absolutely not. The mission of cybersecurity is to provide the most efficient systems without compromising the uh, availability in the most effective and secure manner. That's what it is. So we'll talk more about it, but there is a great deal that we can do in order for someone, uh, especially with experience, to be able to uh, land the job at, in cybersecurity. There are several components that are interlinked, and that's where the missing point is. So we'll talk about that. Thank you very much, viewers. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to watch and subscribe and like.